I've often had users say that we can't hear our DAW output. It's not working. It's nothing is working. The DAW is not working. Well, you need to remember that you need to patch things. The UI24 doesn't know what it's connected to and where you're listening to your audio. So every channel obviously has several input patches. So if we have a look, for example, on channel one and we click on edit and we click on our patching, we have three different areas where the audio can come from. We have the local, so that's your preamps on the actual UI. We have USB-A, which is a multi-track recorder that's built into the UI, and we have USB door. If you want to listen to a channel on your USB door, you must bring it back into the console, into the UI24, and select it into two channels. I generally, what I do in order not to use any mic preamp inputs, I generally use the line inputs, but you could use any, 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 any channel at all. So select it, edit. If your main, uh, your main outputs on your door is set out to UI24 channel 1, 2, then you would select channel 1 and channel 2. And there's your left, right from your main outputs. If your door is set up for your main outputs to go out channel 31 and 32 of the ASIO driver or the core audio driver, then you would select 31, 32. So now, this line input here, as you can see, is playing back the audio from the computer I'm talking into right now because I've selected that and I've connected the whole system up together. So that's it. That's where it is. And that's the right way of bringing audio back into the UI24R. Sending the audio is always on, is always on. Whatever input you select on channel one, if I select USB door or USB-A local input number one, that channel is channel 1, which is relevant as per the manual to channel 11. Left and right of 1 and 2 outputs, which will come up as in your drivers 1, 2. You've got OGS 1, 2, 8. And then you've got your channels from 11 till 32 for the 22 inputs. So just remember, USB door, patch it back into a channel so you can hear what your DAW is playing.